This is a video introducing eDraw Max version 12. But before I introduce it, I want to tell you a story. I started to finish an assignment one day, and then I saw the eDraw Max version 12 brand new user face pop up. Clean, fresh, cool. With rounded buttons and edges and a more simplified user interface, eDraw Max's new look enhances my entire experience. Completing homework has also made me happy. But as night fell, the light mode brightened my eyes. Fortunately, eDraw Max version 12 dark mode pops up. The dark mode is really helpful in a low light environment. Choose Auto, and eDraw Max will change the appearance into Dark Mode automatically from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. After adjusting the Dark Mode, my inspiration came out in a frenzy, and it couldn't even fit on one page. Fortunately, eDraw Max version 12's wider drawing area boosts pops up. This is one of the most requested features of eDraw Max version 12. More space for creation. Now, if you need to design or create flowcharts, network diagrams, etc., you can keep more components organized in the same screen size. The right side task pane is hidden by default to provide a larger canvas. More space gives me more options. But every time I edit the icon, text, or anything, I need to move up to the top again and again. When the mouse is moved too many times, it almost catches fire. Fortunately, the eDraw Max version 12 mini toolbar pops up. Together with frequently used functions and settings, all close enough to touch. You don't need to move to the top again and again when you want to edit. Wondering if it'll block your view? Mini Toolbar won't allow that to happen. Click the pin icon on the top right corner and drag it anywhere you want. With the Mini Toolbar, my homework was done in no time. But I can't find the last symbol, and my homework has to be turned in in 20 minutes. Fortunately, eDraw Max version 12 Recategorize Symbol Library pops up. eDraw Max's symbol library keepers have developed a more intelligent classification of the numerous symbols. With improved consistency, all the symbols have been categorized according to the diagram. Now, you can turn to the diagram you want to create, find the related symbols, and directly drag them on the canvas or drop them into your custom symbol library. I easily found the last symbol in version 12, and I started dressing up my homework. Fortunately, eDraw Max version 12's well-organized ribbon pops up. File recovery has categorized the files according to the original ones they belong to. Therefore, it's easier for you to recover what you need in file recovery. My homework is perfect now. However, a tragedy did happen, and I accidentally deleted the assignment. Fortunately, eDraw Max's version 12 ordered files and file recovery pops up. File recovery has categorized the files according to the original ones they belong to. It's easier for me to recover what we need in file recovery. Finally, I handed in my homework on time and received praise from my teacher. The teacher also asked me what software I used to do my homework.